Hello, this is Indo World Cup Daily coming to you from the Stade de France. Well, the lawnmowers are going here behind me as they do their final bit of prep ahead of what should be an epic game between the defending World Cup champions and the number one ranked team in the world. Well, Ireland had their captain's run here a little earlier. Bundiaki, the first player out onto the pitch. He, of course, wins his 50th Ireland cap tomorrow. And while it's not game over for whichever team loses tomorrow's game, there's no doubting the magnitude of the matchup. That's going to take a big performance for sure. They're, they're an, an excellent side. Um, they've been together a long time as a group, uh, together a long time as a coaching group as well. And they obviously understand how they want to play and how they want to deal with certain situations in the game. They've, uh, I think they've developed their game since the last World Cup and developed their game a lot since, since last autumn in particular. Um, so it, our boys are under no doubt about how big a challenge it is. Um, you know, it, it, they obviously present a big physical challenge. I think we present a big physical challenge as well, and they present a real tactical challenge as well. You know, they're, they're a very smart side, and that's probably one of the things you admire most about them is is the smarts they can bring along with their physicality. So uh, um, I think it's a strength of our side as well. So. Um, you know, we, we we speak about uh, this Irish team and what this Irish team stands for, and uh, uh, I think they've got to bring everything they've brought to the big occasions they've been in in the last few few years. You know, we've you know we've had a Test series decider down in New Zealand in in Wellington. Uh, we've had a Grand Slam decider. Um, you know, we've had uh, a, a tough uh, autumn series against uh, some very tricky opposition and. The boys have always found a way and figured it out, and it's a real strength of theirs. So they're going to have to they're going to have to play super well tomorrow, but they're also going to have to figure things out. and uh, And uh, it's something I really enjoy watching them do when 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 they have a challenge in front of them, how they manage to figure it out as a group, and uh, they're going to have to do that at the weekend. Well, the big news here in France is that facial fracture suffered by France captain and scrum half Anton Dupont in their game against Namibia last night. His absence would be a huge loss to this tournament. Um, yeah, it's, it's probably everything that you kind of dream of when you're um, growing up playing in these sort of games. You don't know if it's ever going to happen. So um, for something like this to finally come around, playing a World Cup against uh, the defending champions is... As, it's, as I said, it's just something that you kind of you always hope to, to be involved in, um, and to get this opportunity, get this chance to play with this team. Um, no, it's super special, and, and um, a few nerves for you, you know. Yeah, a few nerves here and there, but um, that's that's kind of what it's all about. All, the rugby is kind of made for for these sort of games. To be involved in it is um, incredible, and yeah, pretty pretty special to to be playing alongside players like Josh and. And Johnny and stuff like that as well. Uh, some guys in their third, fourth World Cup. Um, yeah, it's very, very special. I haven't heard anything whether he's <coughs> out or not. But um, yeah, it was disappointing for him. He's obviously a brilliant player. He's on unbelievable form. He makes them. I think you know a lot of teams play very similar rugby, but he, he makes them very unpredictable. He's very unorthodox in how he plays the game. He runs across the pitch, he kicks off both feet. Um, he's very strong in, in the tackle for a scrum half. Um, so he gives them a real unpredictable edge to their attack. And um, if he's gone, there's no doubt he'll be he'll be a loss. Um, it'd be a shame to see to see to see if he's out of if he's out of the tournament because he's a brilliant tape player and he adds to the tournament. So. Um, I hope he's okay, see what happens in the quarterfinals.